guys, it's me again, Vince, with another video. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I recently installed my Trigger 6 Shooter wireless system. So with that system comes with comes this um, remote control, this wireless remote control. So this is pretty cool because you can actually mount this anywhere in your cab or you can bring it anywhere with you. I mean, you can go outside of your cab and pretty much light up your lights with this. But because of that, since this is very portable, there are um, chances that you might be able to lose this. You know, you might be able to misplace this and just forget where you put it. So today I'm gonna be addressing that issue. I'm gonna be, I've decided to uh, actually mount this inside my cab. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys where I'm gonna mount it and how I'm gonna do it. So enough said, let's get on with the video and I'll show you guys how it's done. So before we move on, I just wanna ask a big favor from everybody and that is by liking this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. That way you get notified for future videos and you're helping the channel grow as well. So enough said, let's get on with the video. Alright guys, so this is pretty much where I'm going to be putting my Trigger 6 Shooter remote. So, I don't know if you guys remember, I used to have my Cali Race switches here. But since I removed that, I just put the bucket back here for um, storage and stuff. But I really don't have any use for it. I don't even recognize or remember that it's there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be covering that again with my Trigger uh, remote. So I'm just going to be installing it this way. The fit is pretty nice. Um, it fits really well. So I'm just going to be making uh, two holes and bolt this thing in position. Um, and it should be a nice fit. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to remove this panel here. And let's move on. Let's go and uh, we'll go from there. So once you remove the panel, you'll see that there's only three connections at the back. So just try to remove those connections. Um, try to remember where they're connected so that when you get put it back, um, you'll, it, it'll be easier to put it back pretty much. So, All right, so now that we remove the panel from the truck, um, all you gotta do is just remove this bucket. Um, it's pretty much held up by four screws, which I removed already. So you just remove that so that you'll have access to the back part of this um, panel. That way when you drill here, it's easier for you to bolt that, um, the, the remote pretty much. Alright, so the back part of this uh, remote for the trigger six shooter already has two holes in it. So what I did is I just lined it up with this um, panel and just, uh, I just drilled two holes and I'm just going to be using a bolt and a nut to, ta to secure it in position. Alright, so as you can see guys, the back plate is mounted already. I just, um, like I said, I just placed it with two bolts and a nut. It's pretty even. Uh, all I have to do now is just put this little bucket back here. And then uh, put it back in the truck. So now all I have to do is just reconnect all the wires. And then put back this panel where it's supposed to be. Alright guys, so there it is, mounted and everything. As you can see, it just looks clean. And you can also still remove this, bring it somewhere whenever you want to. And when you're done using it, you can always put it back. And it will stay there. So, just remind to put it back all the time whenever you're done so that you don't lose it. So, you know, 
So there it is. Just a simple and easy um, solution. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you do like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And again, as always, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.